Hello, this is mostly a recording test, so if you end up seeing it, then that's a sign. Oh, apparently I'm not allowed to move there, but if you end up seeing it, that's a sign that it worked. I did not put any thought into what I was going to do, honestly. Uh, but we have a blank canvas. I guess we could do something to do with colours. Um, I'll draw something inspired by one of the dolls sitting on my shelf or not. Let's grab ourselves a square. We'll do it based on the sticker that I have on my desk too. We'll do a mix between this doll on my desk and the sticker on my desk, why not? Um, Sorry, just blew some hair off the off the screen. I've had this art tablet for two years now, which I think is very neat. Since I think, gosh, time flies. But the me of five years ago would be very confused to know that I am sitting here now and I have both a computer and an art tablet, and it's a screen tablet. Wow. The height of luxury. 19 year old me would be very impressed. Don't need that yet. There we go. I'm very lazy when it comes to eyeballs. Sorry. I often just draw one and then flip it for the other. And then obviously, based on head rotation, you can make a few adjustments that's not what I meant to do but okay it's better not to question what I am attempting to if I'm honest because even I don't know Akira is purring under my desk. Presumably she is purring because I am talking. And Akira purrs whenever I talk because she is just a little lady baby. Ugh. What kind of eyebrows do we want? I mean, because all three of the dolls sitting on my desk have the really thin, boring eyebrows, and I don't want to do thin, boring eyebrows. Let's do big dot eyebrows. Sorry, I was just looking at my two inspirations. Okay. This is horrible. Give me another circle. That's not a circle. <coughs> Thank you. The way I'm sitting is supremely uncomfortable, and I think I did the eyes a little too spaced apart. There. Give me another circle, one that's not so chunky. There. That is another circle that is not quite so chunky. Let me move those eyes closer together. I need to eyebrow too, actually. Thank you. I think the fiddling I did with the other eye made it so these eyes don't quite match. 
Uh, there we go. I will admit I'm not the most awesome when it comes to criticism, when it comes to my art, and drawing this jaw reminds me that when I posted my art on one Discord server, someone replies, hey, someone replied, hey, remember to flip the canvas, and it's like, I do flip the canvas, and I didn't ask for criticism, like, I get constructive criticism can be a good thing, but at the same time, if you don't know me or my goals with my art, or you don't know what I'm doing with my art, you, how are you meant to give me constructive criticism? How are you meant to give me advice that is actually helpful? Like telling me, hey, flip the canvas isn't useful if I already flipped the canvas, is it? And obviously, if you knew anything about me or the way I do art, like, I mean, I guess a lot of people who know my art to a, a degree don't know that I flipped the canvas, but if you were someone who was invested in helping me with improving my art, maybe you would know that I do flip the canvas. But no, you are just some random stranger who's now memorised as this faceless person who just annoyed me one time. I'm looking at my reference, at my inspiration images again. I am contemplating. Sorry, I just burped a little bit. What is that sticker on that notebook? I've been trying to motivate myself to get something to eat for the last while, and now I think my stomach is finally like, Hey, get something to eat, please. I had an idea for the hair, and then I've forgotten it. I don't like the way the eyes are. I don't need a timeline. Wait, <laughs> how did I get you? Okay. I think it's this eye that I don't like. Nope. Let's give, let's, for the face today, let's do a kind of sticky look to the eyes, if that makes sense. Sticky eyeballs. I'm looking at, at the picture again. I have a lot of stickers on my computer, I could look at those. Inspire me stickers. Ooh, I do like the stripes on that person. I do like stripes. Okay. Nick. Shoulders. Titties. Let's waist, hips, let's size this down so we can fit the full body in there. That'll work. Another layer, another layer, another dollar. Shoulder, 
like so we're kind of having it so the perspective they look kind of that way and I think we'll have it so the sun is here for the lighting wow I don't really need to keep that but we'll keep it whatever whatever floats my boat Then we'll have, this would be where the tops of the thighs are. This would be about where your belly button is, hips. Um. <laughs> Why is Facebook notifying me of something? Okay, that's not very interesting. <laughs> what kind of hairstyle do we want to have this person have? I think kind of a short hairstyle. Let's give you a short hairstyle. I kind of want to, it to be able to see the eyebrows a little bit. I think this character cuts their own hair. Give them little puffy balls. Obviously, you want to, you want to keep the nose. Do we want to do the leaks now? We could do the leaks now. Okay. So this would be the hip socket. Hip socket. This is where the shoulders will go. I think that leg is a little too long, if I'm honest. Unless this, is, this just happens to be a tall person. Tall people exist, I guess. This is the top of the thigh. This is the kneecap. Don't, I don't know what it is I don't like about this. Maybe when I flip it, I'll figure it out. Thank you, I need a tiny bit more space. Okay. So, kneecap, kneecap. And 
no, that's not where I want that. Let's imagine they are sitting on a windowsill. They're very bottom heavy, I think. I think that's what my issue is. They're very bottom heavy. Like, maybe if I... the Ambrose things at all. I think we're going to have them sitting on a windowsill too. So the windowsill would be here and then the window is here. But we don't really need to keep that background part I guess. But we'll keep it there for now I guess. Um, So you're sitting on a windowsill, buddy. You probably got a hand reaching out to touch the edge of the window. And feet. Never have liked drawing feet. Obviously she's going to be wearing shoes, so we don't have to think about the feet too much. I'm just mentally thinking about what position the hand would be in to be. I think you wouldn't actually see the entire hand. You would. Presumably, the window she's leaning on is open in order to, for this to be able to happen. And what is her other hand doing? I think she's smiling and she's waving to someone. Ugh, why is my DPI at 72? Disgusting. I think I'll scale the sketch up a lot once it's done. Okay, so she's smiling and she's waving at someone. Maybe she's in university. Now that I've noticed the, 
the DPI that is actually bothering me a little bit. Ha ha ha. Okay. Well, I think I'll stop and we'll see if this was actually recording. Yeah. Oh, my mouse has stopped working. Thanks, mouse.